Hi, welcome to Tablet Explorer. This is a hammer and it's a claw hammer. This claw bit is used for pulling out nails. This is one of my father's hammers, which has lost its claw. So you could just call this a hammer. Why am I talking about hammers? Well, there is a reason and it's connected to Tabla. Uh, but before we get there, let me introduce you to some more types of hammer. This, believe it or not, is a toffee hammer. It's used to break up toffee. So if you've got a large piece of toffee, you can crack it with this. And here we are. This is a tabla hammer. Now, the tabla hammer is used for tuning the tabla drum. And we're going to get to that uh, in a moment. But you can see that the tabla hammer is about three quarters the size of a claw hammer. And it's much smaller than this, which is called this is called a ball hammer, believe it or not. Um, ball and hammer, two words that I think probably shouldn't go together. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to tabla hammer. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about one particular aspect of the tabla, which may shock many of you if you're not aware of it. And it's not about how to tune a tabla, but it's what happens once you've tuned the tabla and when you start performing on the tabla. Let's have a look. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune this tabla to an A. And I've got my drone box here. I'm going to set up an A. And we just spend a few seconds tuning this. I'll do it, try and do it very quickly. do for now. So this is now tuned to an A, but it's tuned to an A when I play the edge strike, which is also known as na or ta if you're an Indian tabla player. That is an A. Now here's a question for you. If I play a different strike, which is also known as the tu sound, what note will I be playing? Now you may say, well, it's tuned to an A, so it will be an A. Well, actually, it's not an A, believe it or not. This is an A. This. Is actually almost a tone higher. So if this was Sa, Sa, Re, Sa, Re. Now, it's an octave lower, I'm not a very good singer, but it should be so so Now that can be shocking to many of you. It took me a long time to realize that there are two different notes. So when you play the dominant note or na, it is the note that you've tuned it to. But when you play an open sound, it's a tone higher in the lower register. Isn't that crazy? So let's just, let's just check that on the drone box. This is an A. That's correct. Now this one. Isn't that amazing? Right, let's see if that applies to all tablas. We've got some more here. This one is already tuned to, that's a B. Sorry, that's a B there. So this is a B, and if I play the open note, uh, the two sound, Another drum, and this is tuned to, I think, a C. Yes. I've tuned that to a C, and C, when I play the Na sound, when I play the open two sound, should go to a D. Great. 
Okay, now that may come as a shock to many of you. I've never seen anyone else speak about this particular aspect of the tabla. Now, why is it important? It's important because if you're playing in a classical piece and your sa or your tonic is a C, just be aware that when you're doing that, it's not a C. It's no. That can clash with the tune that you're playing. So just be aware of that. Anyway, I hope that was useful to you. Um, it was shocking to me when I discovered that. But um, I would say the thing to take from this episode is be aware that the open fundamental sound is very different to the dominant sound.